Let's take a look at a problem where I'm going to have to shake my jar full of dice and marbles. A population has a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 35. Find the mean and standard deviation of a sampling distribution of sample means with a sample size of 49. They gave me a sample size. I'm going to shake the jar because I'm going to have to change the standard deviation. Now, when they ask for the mean of that sample distribution, it will still be 100, the same as the population mean. However, the standard deviation will be the population standard deviation of 35 divided by the square root of the sample size. Let me pull in my calculator here. So 35 divided by uh, the square root of 49. Let's see, where's my square root sign? Now, the square root of 49 is 7. I don't see the square root. So I'm going to use a standard deviation of 5. Where is the square root sign on it? I think I would have to do probably an inverse calculation on the square. But anyway, don't worry about it. Take the square root of the sample size, the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. The square root of 49 is 7. 35 divided by 7 equals 5. Now, before we yell bazinga, I want to show you a couple of things about the normal distribution calculator. Now remember, remember that if you're doing Z score type problems, you're going to put in a mean of zero, a standard deviation of one. When you want to clear any of these values, you just go into the green cell, hit backspace, enter. A couple other things down at the bottom. Let's see if I can get down there. Hang on a second. Down at the bottom of the calculator, you will notice I've got three tabs. I've got examples for you if you click example one. I've got the verbiage over here. Let's see if I can make this smaller. I've got an example. Say I gave a statistics test and I knew the grades to be normally distributed with a mean of 84 and a standard deviation of 6. And I've got some questions related to the purple ones where we're finding the probability and the blue ones where we're finding the x values. Example 2, I've got more, another example for a normal distribution. Bazinga trees have heights uh, are, that are known to be normally distributed with a mean height. Of, I've got some examples here. Finally, in example 3, I've got a z-score type situation, all right? What is the area to the left of a z-score of negative 0.65? What is the area to the right of a z-score of 1.25? What is the area between a z-score of negative 1.2 and 0? What is the z-score for a probability value of 0.285? It's just negative 6, negative 0.65. I don't think I needed to do this one. What is it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase that before I upload the file. Hit enter. There we go. All right, so I've got examples for you. I want you to go use it. I want you to say, hey, Brent, I appreciate the time and effort you put into this because I put a lot into it. I want you to understand this. It is not cheating to use Excel. It's the same thing as using a calculator. It's the same thing as using a table, it's just more convenient and it's more accurate and it's all about being accurate. Take care now and hopefully I have helped you.